Dear students, welcome to the fifth lecture on email etiquette, the series that we have discussing various perspectives of writing a good email online. And it is an essential element as uh, you know that in today's times work atmosphere, work environment is virtual most of the time. I will begin on a note wherein I am reminded of a quote from Abraham Lincoln and I quote, those who write clearly have readers, those who write obscurely have commentators and it becomes therefore essential for us to look at the art of writing great emails. So, today let us look at uh, having taken a lot of trouble to ensure that all our preliminary work is done correctly. It will be a shame to fall down at most important hurdle which is your message that is most important part. So, you need to make sure that you say what you want to say in straightforward modern business language and appropriate tone to make sure that it looks good that way it has a greater chance of being effective. And as you know effective communication gives a professional impression of you and your organization. It will also further help you get the things done. Now, since we are going to be writing now more than ever, we have to make sure that we often speed, um, uh, you know, observe our speed, which is uh, the key to our successful negotiation. So, writing effectively under these circumstances can be a little challenging, but uh, in today's session, we are going to look at various ways in which we can improve your written communication even in the most demanding circumstances so that your messages are effective and achieve the desired results. So, as we know that we, there have been traditional ways of writing letters and emails and then there are certain ways which have changed with time and now we have adapted to the modern business writing. But let me quickly briefly mention what could be the possible differences that we notice. So, um, we need to make sure that while we update with the new technology, new computer programs and softwares, we have to assure that we often use language and expressions that are more suited to our uh, present day needs and it should not be suiting our gra great grandparents need. So, let us look at it that uh, previous uh, in the previous years not too many decades ago, but business writing was actually formal, long winded, pompous and serious. Let us actually take a look at the letter towards the left hand side of your screen which may have been written a few decades ago. I would want you to go through the letter wherein you observe old fashioned phrases and outdated words. Also look up for passive phrases and redundants that are numerous in the message. While you look at towards the right hand side what do you notice this is a modern business write written letter. Uh, from uh, you know wherein informality has become the key. You also get to uh, see that writing style has also changed tremendously over the period of time. The aim in the modern business communication is to write in a friendly informal style using a very plain language as if you are having a conversation. So, today's approach is very very different and um, as you can observe and spot the difference in the second one. You might have noticed the shorter sentences, active phrases instead of passive ones, simple words instead of lengthy ones and the absence of redundancies and old fashioned phrases as well. So, while uh, you will uh, develop your own writing style eventually with passing time with practice, the skill is that you choose your words and construct sentences and paragraphs consciously, take pride in your work and seek ways to improve it constantly. Learn how to be critical of your own work and notice when something is well written and when it is badly written. That way you will be able to find a mode of expression that best suits you. Now, what goes wrong in written communication often? Let us look at those challenges so that we can avoid those challenges. Whether it could be email, letters, memos or faxes, have you ever received any communication that failed in the following areas that we are going to be discussing that are mentioned on the screen. For example, your gender can be changed to Mr. instead of Mrs. or Miss. The purpose of the message could not be clearly stated. The response required or not clearly, um, uh, response could also be not clearly stated. The message is all jumbled up with no thought given to structure. The writer has used long sentences, long paragraphs that look uninviting. The message could be full of long wing jargon and redundancies. 
the tone could be wrong sharp critical or patronizing or sometimes even intimidating vital details in the mail could be missing so you have to send another message for asking for clarification now when is it that these problems happen one of the reasons is when as a sender you're not the, there physically to help put your message across with body language gesture facial expressions tone of voice and your personality let's also look at some other reasons that could be leading to this kind of problem it takes time for us to write and to reply to an email some messages need more thought than others to work out exactly what you want or need to say that could be one reason why your email could not could face this problem you may be trying to think up too many words that will look impressive that's another problem if your thinking is muddled the structure of your message will be muddled as well if you are thinking as you write sometimes you will waffle and your writing can become unclear and confusing but these problems can be improved with experience and with constant awareness and by taking a sincere interest in the way you write on the right hand side of the screen you can see that there are certain uh, better way uh, you know you can choose consciously what could you improve for example next time when you are tempted to write the phrases which are mentioned on the left hand side like appreciate if you would please choose to write one single word write please please be reminded please remember the above mentioned order instead of that you could just write this order please find attach just write i am attaching now let's look at a b c of modern business writing the a refers to accurate when we talk about accuracy your message should be factually correct in every detail make sure you double check dates times names and numbers accuracy also means coming straight to the point and being very specific make sure reader is aware of all the facts and that nothing is omitted there are certain examples on the screen that you can see for example instead of uh, writing my flight arrives at 130 please write my flight ba10 arrives at 1330 on monday 7th october which is giving exact details of your arrival the next point for b refers to brevity busy business people welcome messages that are direct and to the point and save recipients time by keeping sentences very short and simple and by avoiding long winded and old fashioned jargon so there are certain examples as you can see here instead of choosing to write please be informed that this order will be dispatched to you on 12 july just write this order will be sent out on 12 july the other examples here are there for your uh, reference for example should you require any further clarification please do not hesitate to contact me instead of writing such a long sentence please shorten it and say please give me a call if you have any questions so you can see even visually the n- the number of words used here has been reduced in the modern writing right which will save your time and your energy the third important point is uh, be clear clarity use everyday language that the reader will understand keep words very plain and simple rather than using very fancy words or elaborate phrases for example sometimes instead of using the word comments this you could use start uh, instead of using the word dispatch just say send a certain find out so so and so forth you have a list here briefly uh, of the words that we commonly can uh change into better versions let's move forward and look at the benefits of abc approach by using the abc approach in your writing we'll save time your reader will not have to think about what you mean it will be very crystal clear uh the next point could be that it will avoid confusion your reader will know exactly what you're saying and the response needed without having to send you an email message or give you a call to clarify anything create a good impression a very well written message will make the reader think well not only of you but also of your organization the next point is enhance relationship you will establish a good relationship with people with whom you communicate regularly and by doing all of this you'll be able to achieve the desired results remember that high standards in your organization uh, depends on business correspondence so the high standards in business will generally be achieved only when you follow these regulations with this i am taking um, we are going to be discussing some more segments some more section on six rules of good writing in the next lecture series 
Till then, take care of yourself and stay safe.